if I mention the name Christopher Ciccone, you might say Christopher who? But if I tell you that he's Madonna's brother, then you'll know why he's in Australia right now. As superstar Madonna prepares for her first ever concert in this country, brother Chris is hard at work pulling the glitz and the glamour together for his sister's girly tour. Angela Bishop scored this interview. Um, the police are here. And uh, How about this that? just in. Yeah. They say that you can't do the masturbation scene tonight, otherwise you'll be arrested. Really? Mm. Huh? Okay, let's see what Look at that. <laughs> Christopher Ciccone, little brother, protector, and friend to superstar Madonna. Are you guys serious? I'm serious. Totally serious. Clay just is down there with Freddie. But this quietly so spoken 32 year old is much more. He's the brains behind Madonna's massive shows, the Blonde Ambition Tour, and now the Girly Show. And he doesn't care who knows it. How much of the Girly Tour has your stamp on it? Uh, I'd like to think all of it does, you know. But, uh... Well, most of it. Yeah. It's a long way from the first shows he organized for his big sister. 3 a.m. spots in New York nightclubs, battling every night to get people in. At that point, I was really just concerned about paying rent. So it was really just dancing around. I mean, it was nothing specific or even, frankly, that interesting, you know. It's funny to look back at it, you know, but, uh, I mean, it's very funny to look back at it. But I wouldn't call it significant. I don't know. My mother's death was just all a big mystery to me when I was a child. It's a team effort that began in childhood. When you were growing up, after your mother died and Madonna was in a way looking after you, would you say the roles are reversed now? Or she didn't look after you? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there was a lot to look after. I mean, you know, I think she did what we all did and we sort of looked after ourselves. You know, but uh, I wouldn't say the roles have reversed. We just uh, fit together nicely. Myra makes paintings for me. Oh, she did it herself. She did it herself. So, they have a lot in common. Among the first reports about Madonna's behavior when she reached Sydney was that she took all the paintings in her room down and replaced them with nudes, a habit it seems she shares with her brother. It seems natural that if you would go into a hotel room and didn't like something on the wall, you'd take it down. I would. <laughs> but as far as the media reporting on these trivialities... Obviously, what bit of privacy is there is is sort of cherished, but I mean, we're here to do a show, so you take everything that comes with it. Did you ever imagine it would get this big? You just sort of get caught in the movement upward you know, until you realize that they're actually yelling your name when you walk out the outside, you know. Yeah. Still trying to figure out why, you know, why someone might want an autograph. It's sort of there's no reason. For, I mean, I just can't, you know, I, I'm not the star, you know what I mean? But he's the brother of the world's most notorious living woman, who has shared and bared just about everything. Does she ever go too far? It's her life to go too far with, and not necessarily for me to judge, you know. If it directly involves me, then I may have an opinion on it, but generally it's her vision of her life. You know, she can go as far as she wants to go. But this loyalty doesn't mean Christopher Ciccone bows to every wish of the star. This is one person the self-styled dominatrix can't always win over. Do you boss her around or does she boss you around? Well, she's a star, you know, so she does a certain amount of bossing around, but uh, I can have my way. I just do it differently. Madonna's erotica album, 